I think this truck stands out by breaking with the norms a, a little bit with what is expected of trucks by actually uh, looking at the efficiency and, and productivity but doing it in a, in a very, very cool way. We got the inspiration for the new Volvo VNL from um, motorsport, from architecture, from boat design. We want to convey a feeling of, of speed and a feeling of power, but also very much of efficiency. We have this line in the side of the VNL to really give this sense of movement to the truck. And it's this facet that goes from the top of the bumper all the way along the edge of the hood and into the side of the cab. It gives the uh, truck a sense of motion, a sense of movement, even when it's standing still. Areas that we spend a lot of time with working when it comes to the aerodynamics are the transition points from front to side, across the fenders, across the top of the hood and the edges of the hood. Also the underside of the, the bumper to round it off to make sure that the air passes in the right way around the, the wheels. Clay models are a fantastic tool to um, be able to evaluate uh, uh, the technical input that we get on, for instance, aerodynamics. We can very quickly sculpt it into the form. We can step back and have a look at it to see that uh, we're still keeping our design intent. One of the details on the new Volvo VNL, which I'm particularly proud of, are the headlamps. We've achieved excellent functionality with fantastic light output. So um, from a safety point of view, they're fantastic. Uh, we put a lot of work into the detailing of the grille of the new Volvo VNL. We really wanted to give it a sense of dignity to be able to carry the new iron mark there in a good way. You will also see how we, we've carried that pattern through into the air intakes on the side and just varied it slightly. So there's a continuity uh, there of, of pattern and direction. One of the things that really stand out when we get feedback on our product from our customers is how pleasant they are to drive. Like excellent visibility, excellent ruminous, excellent handling on the road. This is something we really wanted to give expression to in the exterior design of, of the truck. We want it to feel much more like a car. When a customer first sees this on, on the road, I want them to feel, wow. <laughs> I really want them to be blown away by, by this design. On the exterior, a lot of the lines are flowing from the hood all the way back to the sleeping side. We wanted to do the same thing for the interior. So a lot of the lines will wrap through the dash and all the way down into the engine tunnel. Uh, this is important because it kind of envelops the, the control set that the driver will use and it creates this cockpit feel. In the new VNL, the neck tilt feature on the steering column is very unique to the trucking industry. The neck tilt feature allows the customer to adjust the steering column even more from today's telescoping feature. So now they have more leg room to get closer to the controls or it allows for better ingress and egress and allows for different demographics that we couldn't accommodate before. We've added a lot of controls to the steering wheel that allow the user to keep their hands on the wheels at all times for a safer environment and to control the information through the instrument cluster a lot better. The infotainment that we've installed really was a focus on adding more features to the vehicle itself that we couldn't provide in the instrument cluster. Uh, so it'll replace your radio functions, but it'll also give you navigation and allow you to tether your Android or your Apple phone. We've really focused on a lot of the ergonomics and the way you use the features and the functions. We've added a few controls to the new seats in the new VNL. We've improved the comfort level. We've improved the hip point, so there's more travel. And the controls are enlarged, so they're much easier to get to. 
and the flexibility and range of motion is improved. The gauge cluster is completely new. Uh, the gauge cluster gives the driver uh, more information than they've ever had before. The color display allows the driver to see critical messages and it offsets a lot of the, the monochrome that we're used to from the past. We have designed a, a storage area on top of the dash. We know a lot of drivers do prefer to have things on top of the dash. And we've got a rubber lined compartment uh, to keep things from shifting around. The other area that drivers are so concerned about is storage for their drink containers. So we've got multi-function cup holders that are designed to store any number of containers, cups, or beverage items. And if this is not the best location for them for a cup holder, they can move it. This modular rail allows the driver to uh, readjust the cup holder where it's easiest for them to reach. In product design, one of the goals was to create features and functions that the customer may not notice on the first day or the first week, but over the life of the product, they'll begin to appreciate all the features and functions that we've done inside the vehicle. This VNL 760 is an excellent space to spend the night in. Uh, the drivers have all the room they need Drivers have all the storage they need, even for teams. The new sleeper length meets the specific customer request of having the, the proper length and also the proper width. So now someone who's six foot two can enjoy the lower bunk. The recline bunk feature is very important to us. It's a new feature specifically for Volvo trucks. Uh, it's new to the industry by using a paddle system to operate and change the position of the bunk so it's a little bit more comfortable. The mattresses are dramatically improved over today's product. We've gone to a hybrid of inner spring and foam. We increased the firmness, the density, and really wanted to allow the customer to enjoy their night's rest. The driver has the ability to keep their items here, their storage pocket, and all the interface here for features in the sleeper, as well as our new door lock. So the driver has a panic and a door lock feature for safety while they're in the sleeper. Building on this airline first class look and feel, we wanted to make sure that each step that the driver takes uh, is reduced when it comes to preparing to go to bed. Uh, so we wanted to make sure that closing out the light during the day was a lot easier. So we've introduced these shades. I'm six foot two and I have plenty of headroom in the upper bunk. It's easy to get in and get out. It's comfortable. So I have the ability to relax in the upper bunk. I have ventilation, more power supplied. So I have 12 volt and USB, but I also have plenty of storage on both sides. The sleeper is designed to make the driver as productive and safe as possible, not only while they're in the sleeper, but when they're back in the driver's seat. A well-designed sleeper berth equates to a well-rested driver. So at the end of the day, we wanted to make sure that all the comfort and the, the warmth of the product was there for the user. That way, the next day, the driver can get back into the driver's seat and do the job appropriately. A better future, a better life. Promise passion, shifting light. The new D13 turbo compound is a driver's engine. They're going to love it because it produces enough power 
At the same time, it produces extreme fuel efficiency. Behind me, you're seeing one of the first 2017 greenhouse gas D13s getting ready to go into an actual chassis. It's great because these engines are built in the United States and the trucks are built in North America. So it gives it a certain level of quality uh, that we expect from the D13. The new D13 is 71 pounds lighter than the old D13. Engineering looked at the block and found areas that weren't needed that had extra weight, so we removed it and made it stronger. 71 pounds is a lot of weight over a year's time that you do not have to carry around uh, with the truck. You could also put that extra weight and use it as payload. Turbo compounding is one of a kind in the industry. No one else has it. We place the turbo compound unit on the side of the engine. It captures that energy out of the exhaust system and then in turn returns it back into the engine up to an extra 50 horsepower. If you're a long haul customer, if you're over the road, uh, you definitely need to benefit from downspeeding. And the new turbo compound engine is the future of downspeeding. I'm always doubtful about fuel efficiency numbers until I actually see them and these engines are generating the six and a half percent which is amazing so when people are doubting it all i say is buy one try it and when you see that six and a half percent show up uh, in your fuel receipts you'll be very excited about it your real strength of pride comes from talking to our customers when they tell you they're running these trucks night and day and they're the most efficient reliable best performing trucks they've ever ran and that gives me more pride than anything else Having the iShift is a great way to attract drivers and maintain and keep drivers for longer. As soon as we can get a driver in a Volvo truck with the Volvo engine and iShift, they fall in love with it. As soon as they give that transmission a chance, they never go back. Our new generation of iShift, we've improved the clutch durability. We've decreased the torsional vibration, so it's going to be a quieter and smoother ride. We've enhanced the countershaft brake which means there's going to be quicker shifting. And we've hardened the range housing so heavier pumps can be hung off the back of the transmission for more applications. So overall, our transmission, it's more durable. It's going to shift more smoothly and more quickly. The iShift is an important safety feature because it allows the driver to focus more on the trailer, to keep two hands on the wheel uh, instead of paying attention to what gear the transmission is in. They have more mental power to focus on everything around them instead of keeping the back of their mind, oh, I'm in sixth gear right now, I need to remember that. I see is our new software feature. First time a truck drives a route, I see learns the route and memorizes it. The second time in cruise control that a truck drives that same route, I see is actually gonna shift the truck differently to help save more fuel using the truck's momentum. Going up the hill, the truck's going to avoid downshifting for longer. Avoiding downshifting keeps the RPMs lower, which is more fuel efficient. When the truck comes to the top of the hill, it's going to back off. It knows it doesn't need to keep accelerating and using as much fuel because it's about to crest the hill. And then when it's coming down the hill, the truck's going to echo roll, which is disengaging the driveline to save even more fuel. The Volvo engine is integrated with the Volvo iShift and that is really key to the success of our engine and transmission. They speak to each other seamlessly in the same language. Our Volvo truck with our Volvo engine and iShift transmission really is successful in all climates, in all environments. From the hot areas in Mexico to the freezing regions way up north, this transmission can handle all of those conditions. It's a point of pride for us that the iShift is built in the USA and that it allows the engineers to get their hands on the transmission to continue to make improvements in the future and to be able to have customers come in and see the iShift being built, that transmission that can end up in that truck that they're gonna be driving. Safety has been part of Volvo's DNA, part of our culture since the very beginning. When our founders began, they realized that it's not so much about trucks, it's about people. So they made a commitment that we hold to today, that everything we do will be based on the measurement of how can this be safer?
for our drivers and the communities in which they operate. At Volvo Trucks, our goal is someday to be able to say that there are zero accidents on our highways. That's a noble goal. That's an aggressive goal. One of the innovations that's unique for Volvo and for the industry is that we have a heads-up warning for forward collision alerts. What this does is alert the driver in a very visible way. Studies have shown that when you can give drivers even just one additional second of forward warning, you can prevent the risk of forward collisions by more than 90%. If you take a, a look at rollovers and front-end collision, that's about two-thirds of all commercial vehicle accidents. We have two safety technologies, Volvo Enhanced Stability Technology and Volvo Active Driver Assist that mitigate that two-thirds. The Swedish cab impact test is the toughest safety test in the world, and we exceed the standard. There are actually three components. In this case, we want impact all on the A-pillar because that really is the weakest part of the truck. The structure of this test is to determine that we can maintain the integrity of that area, and it's all about protecting the driver. And a barrier test simulates one tractor running into the trailer of another tractor. As you can see, the parts coming off here, that's actually the engine and transmission dropping below the cab so that the assembly does not come back into the cab compartment. So we offer a side airbag seat that will be a curtain between the driver's head and the side of the cab. It basically lowers the HIC value from having a concussion versus being hit with a soccer ball. HIC stands for Head Entry Criteria. Volvo's new cab is constructed using high-strength steel. This differs from uh, most of our competitors who use aluminum for their cab, sometimes reinforcing key areas with some high-strength steel. We've taken that a step further. We are using high-strength steel for our entire cab. At the end of the day, it's about getting home safely to your family. This is, no doubt, the safest Volvo truck in the world today.